design standpoint, the vehicle had to be incredibly beautiful. And at the end of the day, when you step back and look at it, it has to say Corvette. It's part art, so hand sculpting clay, and part digital math-based. I think a lot of the leadership thought, we want to go to mid-engine because it's cool, you know, because most exotic sports cars in the world were mid-engine, but actually we were doing it because we felt like we were reaching the limit of our performance capability and the architectures that we had. And so we had to do something to move that forward. When I first heard that they were going to make the new Corvette mid-engine, really it was a, a game changer. We're bordering on 70 years of this vehicle. So you have this lineage to it that you have to maintain, but you also have to be willing to grow and take it further. With the mid-engine attributes, you'd have the, the rear weight bias from the engine for better acceleration, performance, and track times, as well as the low forward cal for excellent visibility and the lighter front, which really makes the car fun to drive. Corvette is an emotional driving experience. No matter who you are in life, when you get into a Corvette, you're a superhero. We needed a bespoke transmission, custom designed for this car, because we have engines that produce massive amounts of torque, so the DCTs that are on the shelf wouldn't stand the Corvette duty cycle. Is you've got a shaft that has your even forward gears, two, four, six, eight, and your odd gears, one, three, five, seven, and you can simultaneously be disengaging one shaft while you're engaging the other one. So it's quicker than a human being could shift a manual transmission. This way you get the lightning fast, less than 100 milliseconds shift when you need it. What if we could do a new definition of a mid-engine sports car, not just for high-performance driving, but to go on trips, adventures, just make the driving to work an experience? Utility of the car has been something we focused on, true, ensuring that we've got a space for people to store luggage or groceries or what have you. So we have a front storage section that's very deep. We've got a trunk in the rear that not only accommodates two bags of golf clubs, but uh, also stows the removable roof panel. Hover mode, which is what most people are used to as tour, sport, track, and weather. Um, my mode and Z mode are actually just two additional modes. Tour, we look at it as a balanced mode that's good at everything. Sport is a little bit more catered toward the spirited driving. Track is all about the response and how the vehicle handles around maximum cornering, maximum acceleration, and maximum driver feel of the road. What my mode and Z mode will allow you to do is for the driver to configure it themselves. The design intent of Z mode is for a single use case. You could set up Z mode for that curvy road that you go on every day on the way to work. Click on Z mode, do your curvy road, and then go back to my mode, and that's your day. What I wanted to do was kind of go to a three-seat strategy. With the GT1 seat, that gives you your perfect everyday kind of driving seating position, comfortable bolsters. The new entry that we have for this one is the GT2. The GT2 seat is really, really an exciting seat. It's a Napa leather. It has the most color blocking opportunities. It's a really beautiful form seat. The other side effect of that is it allowed us to really dial up the competition seat. So we brought in a new material. It does a couple of things. One, it holds you in. And then the other side of it is it eliminates a little bit more leather because every ounce counts on this vehicle, especially when you're tracking it. When we started designing the interior, we wanted to make sure that it felt uniquely Corvette, but it feels like no Corvette you've ever been in before. Going from 10 colors to 12 colors, this will be the most we've ever offered. What we're finding is that our consumers want to bring a little bit of their own identity in the car and really want to exemplify who they are and bring their own emotion out. And then the other main point that we did on the interior was the stitching and seatbelts. And this is really giving you a step above black when you go down that path. Drivers can now raise the front of their Corvette almost two inches in less than three seconds with the available front lift. While it can be manually activated, it can also be programmed to remember the GPS locations of up to a thousand obstacles throughout your commute so that you don't, for example, have to remember to activate it every time you arrive home. With your